Ho, 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 gin lovers, and Merry Christmas, and welcome back to No Nonsense Gin Reviews with me, Bobby Freeman. So it's Christmas Day, and it only seemed right to have a Christmas gin. So, my friends, may I present to you Jingle All The Way Gin on Christmas Day. Now, to be honest, I've never actually heard of this one before. It's just in one of the British supermarkets. I doubt you can get it anywhere else. But it was the only Christmas gin I could find, so I thought I would give it a go. So yeah, it's sold by Asda here in the UK, but it's made by the Boutique Gin Company, which sounds all very nice. It looks well, but extremely boutique-y. Um, I'll be honest, it's, I'm guessing it's, I'm not, I haven't got high hopes for this one. I think it's probably going to be a bit of a gimmick, but you never know, you never know. I'm going to throw caution to the wind, and you never know, it might be a little Christmas surprise. So let's have a quick look what they say about it on the website, shall we? Now, as you know, I always like to do it in the accent where the gin is from. However, today is Christmas, so I thought I would do it in the style of Santa Claus. So here goes. Jingle all the way, gin! It really is the most wonderful time of the year, and we've got the most ultimate Christmassy spirit at Asda. It carries a little sparkle, a lot of gin, and it tastes fantastic -y. It's soft, sweet, and wrapped up in a warming, aromatic hug of cocoa. For Christmas Eve Eve, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and Boxing Day Day. And so on and so on until at least the 31st of December 2030. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas, everyone! And in case you were wondering, it cost five pounds from Amazon. Now, as you can see, you most definitely get what you bloody well pay for. <laughs> <laughs> beard in my mouth. <laughs> right, thanks for that, Santa. Unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't really gleam a great deal from that description, apart from the mention of the cocoa, which sounds very exciting. So uh, let's crack on, my friends, and get right stuck into it. And we have good news straight away because it has got a cork, and we know what that means. It is the cork test. So the final cork test of the year. Here we go. Does it have a Christmas squeak? Ooh, a little tiny... A little fright, like a little frightened animal. Oh, I like that. It's very cute, very nice. Okay, we've got a good squeak. Right then, go for the full pull. The final cork test of the year. Let's make it a good one. Here we go. Oh, a thunderous big cork sound for the final one of the year. I'm very pleased with that. Well done, Santa. Top work. Excellent cork test. Do you know that was so good? I think we're going to do another one. Have a go, have a go. Oh, it's never as good the second time round, is it? Never mind. Right then, we do the sniff test in the glass from now on. Whack a bit in there. Okay, here we go. The final sniff of the year. So here we go. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? That is that straight away. I'm happy with that because I thought this was just going to be a standard uh, uh, gin. They just labelled it up with a bit of Christmassy, uh, Christmassy kind of uh, wrapper. But you know what? That actually does smell quite Christmassy. It's quite sort of orangey and cinnamony and sort of spices. I like. Didn't it? It actually smells like Christmas. I've got, you know, my hopes have, have been raised a little bit more now. So let's not fanny around. Let's get some tonic in the glass and let's try the fella, shall we? Right then. Little bit of tonic. I'm having it a bit stronger these days. So there we go. Here we go then. Here we go. Uh, what is it again? Jingle all the way. Gin. Final gin of the year. Cheers. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. This is brilliant. I was totally convinced. I was so negative about this one. I thought it's just going to be a novelty. It's going to be a gimmick. But that is absolutely... That is everything you want. That is everything you want from Christmas. Those spices, those kind of sort of spicy essence that you sort of uh, get in a mulled wine. That's a, but which I wouldn't have thought would transfer to gin. But it totally does. It totally does. Got oranges in there and cinnamoniness and all that sort of... It feels quite sort of warm and like... And, and you know what? Let me... Yes. Yes, and it does have this little bit of sort of cocoa in there. Not much. Not mu Oh, my God. Actually, you get it in the aftertaste more, even quite a long after, long time after, as you can just tell. Which actually reminds me of the... Uh, you see that tiny little bottle with the orange label up there? It was the Sipsmith's uh, Orange and Cocoa uh, gym, which I absolutely love. I wouldn't have thought... Cocoa is a very sort of unexpected flavour to go with gin, really. But it works so well. Whenever I see that, it's quite rare, that one. But if ever you see it, please, 
please have a go on it because you know you might not you don't know when you're going to get the opportunity to do it again and it was awesome the cocoa kind of works like in a weird way it's a bit like sort of if you're at a house party and someone's uh, you get like a gate crasher one strange man managed to sort of wheedle his way in he stood in the corner on his own just drinking quietly everyone's like who the hell's the weird guy in the corner all of a sudden he, the music comes on he throws his coat off before you know it he's like john travolta on the dance floor and everyone's just he's just leading the dance like this and they're all like yeah they're all high-fiving him it turns out he's like the best thing to happen to the party once again my metaphors are certainly running away with me but i think you're used to it by now and i think it's the best way to describe it it's kind of um sort of it goes against the grain to what you think would work but throw it in there and it's just awesome i love it this is a wonderful wonderful gin i'm so happy that we could finish off the year with this absolutely great mm. oh yes also, if you are a bit strapped for cash because you spent all your money on Christmas presents, I tell you what, this is not going to break the bank. It's £20. I think it varies on the internet, but it's around about £20. But however, it is a slightly smaller bottle, though. It's the 50CR, which I do find a bit cheeky and I don't like. But it's still not too bad a price, to be honest. However, it is not, and I repeat, not for the faint-hearted because it's 46% ABV, which will most certainly, that's more than enough to get you on your merry way at your Christmas party. You'll be kissing your boss under the mistletoe and photocopying your ass cheeks before you know it. So guys, my top tip to you this Christmas, if you can find this, if it is anywhere near you, then I say go out and buy it and have a lovely jingle all the way Christmas. In fact, I say to you people at the Boutique Gin Company, keep up the good work, my friends, because this is a little Christmas treat. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video, and indeed, I hope you've enjoyed watching this whole year. In fact, the very first year of No Nonsense Gin Reviews. And I'd like to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers and anyone who gets involved in the channel, because you really have helped to make it what it is. It's, it's not anything huge at the moment, but it's certainly huge compared to what it was last year, which was pretty much nothing. Well, it was absolutely nothing. It was completely nothing. So thank you so much, everyone. I, I really appreciate it, and I hope we're going to go even further together in 2020. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my my channel and like the video and press the bell icon so you get reminded when all my new videos come out and i will see you all next time in the new year on no nonsense gin reviews where i shall be bobby freeman oh, that was a big salute today wasn't it thank you very much bye bye